maltreatment for the human body originates from uh, drugs. Drugs are normally taken on the grounds that they appear to be a transitory arrangement of an issue or they give comfort by quieting the faculties. However, that likewise demonstrates how impeding they can end up being to one's well-being. This was a message part of a message to youths during the youth empowerment seminar held in Kwekwe. Let's hear the coordinators speak. Involved in drugs, so we decided to come together so that we could inspire them, so that we could make them see the other side, that you can survive, you can have a better life even without taking drugs. So many youths came for this uh, workshop, so many youths, they are being uh, what are given ideas on how they are supposed to survive even after uh, finishing a school. Uh, from this seminar, I've actually been inspired. I've learned a lot. Uh, there are a lot of things that I'm now discovering, especially on the issue of drugs. It's now in which they are going through. They are trying to find something uh, to, to relieve their pressures that they are getting uh, even from life. And the other thing that I've learned from this seminar is it's not a matter of where you are coming from or uh, the background, how you grow up. Uh, even when you're ordinary, it's possible for you to become an extraordinary person, a person where some, some people will come to listen to. Um, my advice to other youths uh, that are into drug abuse would be, you know, drugs do not help you with anything, but they're only subtracting from your future. You know, you may get high for only a minute, but after getting high, you're coming back to the problems that you're trying to run away from. So it's better you get empowered, you become an entrepreneur, you, 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 you pursue your education, you pursue your academics, and you know, you can face those problems boldly. Drugs are not the solution. So I want to encourage you, you may be watching. Early news now, let's take a look at what's happening in our press stories with our press review. Our first story is from the Newsday. Forex deals a lift in industrial output. This story was taken by Freeman Max, boosted by United States dollar injection from the foreign currency auction system. This Newsday business has learned. Uh, Lupatha tips Dube to shine by Fortune Bele. Former Warriors striker Joe Lupatha has tipped forward Prince Dube to shine at the Africa Cup of Nations finals, which start in, is given the chance to play by coach Norman Mapeza. Indeed, we wish them all the best as they prepare for the games. Top football administrator Gumede dies. Highlanders President Ndumizo Gumede died yesterday afternoon at Mbilo Hospital after a short illness. Gumede, aged 76, was admitted at Mbilo. Europe-based midfielder Kundai Beyu was a surprise inclusion into the Warriors' 23-member squad, which left Harare yesterday for the Africa Cup of Nations finals to be played in Cameroon. The Nomen Mapeza coached team left Harare in two batches, with the first group flying out in the morning to Johannesburg, while the second left in the afternoon for Ethiopia. Our first business story as the country continues to woo billion with discussions focusing on key trade issues. Selling brand Zimbabwe remains the game plan at the ongoing Expo 2020 Dubai and prospects of clinching several business deals remain high as inquiries continue at the country's pavilion. This Tuesday, Saudi Arabia's commissioner at the Expo, Engineer Huskast. Engineer Han Bazaza noted that no country can rise by itself, indicating the need for Zimbabwe and Saudi Arabia to explore the possible business interests they can pursue. It's nice to be here and share with the rest of the people our vision, the yes. Kingdom Vision, Vision 2030. Yes. And our message here in, in to come and invest in Saudi Arabia okay. and vice versa. Okay. Uh, one nation cannot rise by itself. Absolutely. And with your country, the relationship has been there. 
Yes. And as you said, uh, it's now in an era of being a partnership, a strategic one. So uh, that's why I'm here. Zimbabwe's Commissioner General for the Expo, that the country is keen to share experiences with the Middle East nation. We are developing a new parliament just outside Harare and one of the things that we are envisaging is a new smart city. We are also emphasizing here with your human capital, we understand that you are, you are hoping to do great things in your own country. And we hope that we can learn uh, from, from you. The expo will run until March next year and on the 14th of the same month, the world's attention Mugio, CBC News. Economic analysts have hinted that Zimbabwe's strong external sector performance in 2021 will anchor currency stability. The country's strong external sector showing has seen a massive growth of 84% in forex deposits into the mainstream economy from 1.2 billion in 2020 to 1.9 billion United States dollars. According to economic analysts, the continued surge in forex deposits will improve the country's economic competitiveness against its regional counterparts. Over and above um, the growth in ex 